Good morning. Welcome to First Word, striving to help you make God's Word a priority today. This week's theme is putting value in the local church. I believe we can do this by fulfilling the one another commands of Scripture. Romans 12, verses 4 through 5 says, For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually members one of another. When we trust Christ as Savior, we become part of a body of Christ. The Apostle Paul uses the similarities between the human body and the body of Christ in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 14 through 27. But Paul also challenged us in Ephesians that as members of a body, we need to be working together to build up that body. Ephesians 4.16 says, From whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped. When each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. As individuals within the body of Christ, God has given us different abilities and gifts to use to the benefit of the rest of the body. In doing this, we will build up the body and help it to grow into what Jesus expects it. This makes clear, then, that any individual Christian cannot function effectively unto himself. Though they have certain talents that can benefit the body, for the body to be complete, they must be willing to assemble with the others around them. If I get a splinter in one of my toes, I need my hand to pull it out. We should never say to another part of Christ's body, I don't need you. For it is each individual together that make up the body of Christ. As we learn to minister to one another with the gifts that God has given, we must be careful that we do not become proud. Romans chapter 12, verse 3 says, For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. God has given us all gifts so that his body may be, grow to be what he desires it to be. But we must constantly be reminded that these gifts are directly from him. They are not because of our own merit, nor is one, more, one gift more valuable than another within the body. Yet in humility, we're to serve one another for the benefits of all. These things cannot be done in isolation from other believers. We are called to gather together to accomplish Christ's purpose for the body. So in review, we are to remember that we're all necessary parts of the body of Christ and we're to function for the benefit of the whole. Thank you for listening to First Word. May you find yourself a part of a local body honoring the Lord.